Hey guys, so I'm doing a requested video today on basic gerbil care. Um, so today I'm just going to talk about some basic gerbil care um, on maintaining gerbils, keeping them healthy, active, um, etc, etc. So right now they are just um, having some floor time, some play time. And this is something that you can do with the gerbils um, to give them some stimulation as gerbils need stimulation. Um, so you just take them out, even if it's just 10, 15, 20 minutes, um, just let them run around. Usually I do about 10 minutes, um, maybe four times a week. Just let them run around and explore as they are exploring animals. Um, and you can give them all sorts of things. Um, so for example, um, that box is actually from Lights from Christmas. Um, this tube is actually a plumber's tube. So I actually have the package right here. Um, it's a flexible vinyl ducking tube. Um, okay, so you just, and I wouldn't recommend putting this in the cage just because of the material. Um, they'll eat it and you don't want them to eat it. So you, you want to make sure that you're using this material, um, when you're watching them. And when they're on floor time, you want to keep an eye on them because they are escaping artists and they can get out. Um... And if you can see, the walls aren't very high, okay? So they can jump them, so you need to keep an eye on them at all times. Um, you can put them in a Tupperware container as well that's high enough that they can't jump. They are jumpers as well. Um, and so you want to make sure that if you're not watching them, to have at least three, four feet high that they can't jump from where the last thing stands. So I'm not saying from the ground, I'm saying from the highest point. So from here, it at least then has to be three, four feet tall from there. Um, over in the corner, they have a sandwich bag um, box. Um, they just have some tubes um, that you buy at the pet store. They have a hide-and-seek um, little hay thing and then back there they have another little tube and as you can see they eat that and I'm going to talk to you about um, eating because that's one big thing is they are big. Hey sorry I got cut off there um, I was in the middle of saying that they are big chewers um, and I'm going to show you some of the things that you can give them to chew, um, as well as they are like every other animal, critter, guinea pigs, hamsters, mice, that their teeth are consistently growing and that you need to give them things to chew. So I'm going to put them back in their cage and talk to you about some of the foods that you can give them next. Um, this is going to be probably a 15 minute video but it's going to be a very good care video to help you guys understand um, the basics in taking care of gerbils um, and as you can see once they're on the floor too long they get a little bit antsy and they want to explore other things <clears throat> excuse me um, and so you need to give them things to do so as you can see in this little floor space it is jam-packed with tons of things to do um, to keep them busy because they are very busy animals they need to keep busy um, otherwise they get themselves into trouble um, for example they've escaped from their very first cage that I used to have they escaped from that um, twice um, because I don't know if I didn't have enough things in there that were busy um, for them to do or they're just little devils and they escape from everywhere I'm not sure um, and I'm also going to talk about the best cage to have for them. Um, and we, that's all coming up. So let me get started. Here we go. Okay, so now we are going to start talking about things to give them to help their teeth stay down and to keep them busy um, with things to chew. So I'm going to start over here. 
So, as you can see, I have a glass water bottle. Now, this is something that, if you have the kind of cage that I do, which is a fish tank, it is vital to have a glass water bottle because they will eat plastic. Now, I did have a plastic water before, and they would sit up here, and they would chew, and they chewed it. So, then that water bottle had to get thrown out. So, this is a vital water bottle to have, um, and even just in general, just get a glass water bottle. It's definitely worth your money, um, because with the plastic ones, you will be buying multiple because they will eat through them. They are big, big eaters. Um, another thing is, this is a bird toy, and bird toys are just plain old wood, and you can use them as well as other toys. So, as you can see, they have chewed this, they have taken the bell off, and as you can see, all these other little chews that are on the other side are gone. Um, they've chewed this, and they haven't got up to the top just yet. They've started there, but once kind of this lower place is gone, I'm going to move it down, because if you can see it hanging. Another chew that they have in their cage is this corn chew. Um, and as you can see, big, big chews. Now, they have gotten this off here before in their cage, and then I've had to go on going digging for this um, piece and this piece. That's not fun, but they are big chewers. <laughs> um, next is they got this one for Christmas, and as you can know, as you can see, it was up to here with chews, and they are slowly disappearing. Um, pokey, sorry, my cat's just trying to annoy me with them, and even this rope they're also chewing too, which is okay um, because it's just rope. Uh, it's not going to hurt them. And so, yes, that's another great thing to have. And then they also have this little one. This is also a bird toy. And they just recently got this. Um, and as you can see, they've kind of started. And it also has a little bell. Okay. Um, very, very cheap um, chews would be a box um, that you have extra from Christmas or whatever the case. Um, another one is, um, that box from Sandwich Bags. Um, another cheap is a Kleenex box. Just make sure that, um, on the side here, you remove the plastic because they will eat the plastic and they could choke on it. Um, oh, hello, escaping artist. Um, a few more chews is this Fiddlesticks Bridge. Um, this is the small one. They also have a medium one. Um, this log with little holes, and as you can see, they're eating that. Um, another chew is this house, or was this house? It came, like, a little further and then out like this, and then there was a ledge here. And as you can see, they've eaten the inside ledge, um, as well as all of this. And they are big chewers, and they need things to chew. Otherwise, they will chew through your cage. Um, a few little chews here. This is, was from a Not Not Nibbler that they destroyed. Um, I have a few pieces of this left. Um, another thing are these wooden blocks. And as you can see, they have chewed. Just make sure that you get ones with um, free, um, free something safe with um, painting. Um, for example, these are actually children's blocks. They weren't bought at the pet store. Um, and this is uh, safe, lead-free paint. And that's okay to use with them. And as well as they have this chewing board thing that um, they actually have a few more that they have intensely chewed. And, um, oh, we've got like the little cat thing going on over there. Um... And you can build, actually, this is actually from, like, building a playground or something, um, is what that was from. Um, you can also buy them little things like this to chew, um, and it's just hay, and they're okay, they can have hay. Um, as you can see, this tube, they have chewed this, um, so, like, I have to replace these, and it's very expensive to replace these, so, so, yeah, like, <laughs> chew everything. Um, 
Yep. Um, excuse me. Thank you. Okay. Um, another thing. They have chewed this black thing as I showed you. Um, I more or less kind of like using it, um, for when they're in playtime now just because they chew it. Um, and it is a pipe thing. You don't really want them chewing it. Um, but it's not deathly if they chew it. It's not going to kill them if they chew it. Just like this white tube. They, there's a few places that they've chewed just on playtime. And, you know, so that. Um, I'm also going to be right back and just grab a few more things um, to help them chew. Hey guys, so I just grabbed the buckets that I have of chews, and I have a whole bucket dedicated to toilet paper rolls. They will eat this pretty quick. Um, they love these things, and I'll actually put one in right now. But they love those, and they are gone in five minutes from their cage. Hi, get down. Um, for example, this is my chew bin. So I have these hay chews. Usually these go to the guinea pigs, um, just because... Um, these guys like demolish them. Again, here are more of these things. And as you can see, here's one that used to look like that. I have tons of these blocks. Um, here's some more. Here's just like a, a bag of um, some Not Not Nibbler chews. There's just some bag of chews in there. Um, what else we got? Kind of it. I have another one of these that's from their cage. Um, carrot chew. You just gotta make sure you've got a lot of chews for them because they are big chewers and you don't want them chewing their way out of their cage because they're bored. Oh, jeez. Sorry, midnight was about to jump. I had to catch him. <laughs> um, anyway. So, yeah, so I'm actually going to put them back in because they're getting very antsy. So I'll be right back and I'm just going to, then I'll talk to you about their cage and their food. Hey guys, so I've just put them back in their cage now and this is their cage layout for today. So as you can see, they have a shoe box with a box inside there and there's some shoes in there as well. Um, they also have some toilet paper rolls as they'll go through those very quick. Um, the shoe box is too high that you do need a ramp. So in the back there I have a medium fiddlesticks um, to help them get up and down. They have their wheel up here. And then they have their grid with their water bottle and all their shoes. And as you can see they're going nuts because they just got back in and they're very excited exploring. So this is the best kind of um, house that I would recommend is a fish tank. Um, it does not matter how high it is, as this is high, as long as it has a proper lid that they can't get out. So, for example, mine is a mesh reptile lid, and that's what it looks like. I'm sorry, it's upside down. Um, that's what it looks like. Just a lid that they can't get through. This is metal, so they can't eat through it. Um, if they ever did get up there. They kind of sit on the water bottle, but they've never been able to stand up, and they can't reach that high. Oh, he's going to demonstrate to you. Yeah, he can't reach that high. Um, and this is, again, he's demonstrating the part where he can eat the water bottle, standing on top of it and eating it. So, I haven't put their food in yet, because I'm going to talk to you about their diet. So... Right here is some good choice of diets. Um, here I just have a seed mix. Um, and it has sunflower seeds. Um, it has corn and all sorts of things in it. And this is one thing that you can give them. And it's hamster and gerbils. So both my animals can have it. Um, another food that they should have is a some sort of support. Um, with a, with DHA omega-3, um, in it, because that's good for them. And this says on it, mouse, rat, and hamster, but pretty much everything hamsters can eat, gerbils can eat, too. So just remember that. Um, sorry, I'm just gonna sit down. Um, so yeah, so those are things. 
for this, this is my last bag of this stuff. And then I'm going to be starting making my own because it's way cheaper to make your own um, like thing like this. So I'm going to be doing that um, because it's going to be so much cheaper. Uh, and I can also make a video of me making it and the ingredients that are in it um, if you want to make it as well. So, now I'm just going to talk about a few um, good treats that you can give them that are healthy. One is these peanuts. Um, and I do in the shell just because um, then it's more fun having to get them out. Another one is walnuts. You can do too. But walnuts, you need to crack them a little bit because their shells are a bit harder. But um, people call them monkey nuts as well. But these are a good source of protein. And they're also very low in sugar. However, they are high in fats. Um, but with gerbils and their go, 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 um, they are pretty active that, um, it's not detrimental if you give, like, one of these, um, a day or a few a week. Um, another good thing is raisins. Um, mine absolutely love raisins. Um, these are high in sugar, so I'd be careful giving them too many, um, just because, um, of diabetes. Um, but they get a few of these a week, and they absolutely love them. Another thing is this is just a cereal mix of Shreddies, and, what's the other one? Um, I'm gonna say Shred Wheat. So here's Shreddies, as everyone I'm sure knows. Make sure there's no salt added or anything like that, as you don't want salt on the outside of them. And then here is little wheats. Whoops. Little wheats. Um, another thing you can give them um, is pumpkin seeds. They absolutely love them, and they're very nutritious for them, and they absolutely love them. Another thing is you can give them millet as well, um, and it's just in there. I can't get this off. Let me try. Okay, I got it. Another thing is millet, and they come in like very long strands, right? So I just like cut them up kind of thing and give them some millet. Oh, excuse me, I think I'm getting a cold. Um, and the last and final thing that is a dribble book. I recommend this, recommend this, recommend this. An Animal Planet dribble book. This is the best book I have ever seen and I follow it to a T. I love this book. Um, I'm just going to, oh crap. I just put, push the millets on the floor. I just pick them up. Okay. So for example, I have this part blocked off and in here it tells me I don't know if it's going to, like, go for you. But some of the fruits and vegetables that they can have. I don't know if you, it's not going to focus. Come on. Ugh. It's not going to focus. Anyway, um, I'll read it to you. Dribbles enjoy, enjoy a, variety, a variety of vegetables, including carrots, broccoli, peas, spinach, squash, peppers, corn, tomatoes, beets, celery, red peppers, Avocados and fruits such as apples, bananas, apricot, peaches, plums, and berries. Um, they can also have banana chips and raisins, um, dried vegetables such as carrots and peas. Um, they can have apples, but you need to remove the seeds as they are poisonous. And that is that book. Anyway, I would definitely recommend this book. It is definitely a helper and has been for me um, being having dribbles. I think that is all um, I needed to show you. Um, you can definitely leave questions. If there's anything that I haven't suggested, please leave questions in the down bar and I will try my best to answer the questions. Another thing is a wheel. They need a wheel and they've already pushed it off. So we need to push that back on as they're big runners. And